Hello Aries! Thank you very much for tuning in to your love read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For support of Oracle Cards, Queen of the Moon Oracle by Stacey DeMarco. I already shuffled. I should move this over here. There we go. This feels already kind of crammed in. Okay. There's a weird energy with this, kind of like, it feels like everything's happening all at once already. Like it's happening really fast. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. It just feels like it's all happening really fast. Um, your partner, um, they're, I do feel like your partner is going to try to lead the way. Are they? Yes. And I actually feel like you're going to kind of go their way on whatever this is. Are we sure? Okay. So, the energy is really kind of screwed up a little bit. You, the death card is here on your partner's side as the challenge. And I feel the thing is, like, dealing with something, like, it's already happened. It feels like it's already happened. It's going into the land of acceptance. I feel like a grieving feel here, like accepting what's happened. Whatever it is, a loss of a person, a loss of an idea, a loss of a possibility, it's up to them to accept the circumstances. It seems like it's up to them. Now, on your side, I'm noticing your challenge card, and everything seems to be blurring in here. You got the challenge card of the Nine of Swords, and the Five of Pentacles is, it's it's what's happening, but it's also kind of blurring into that, in the sense of like there's disappointment, there's regret, there's sadness. Um, it's you're having a hard time letting go of whatever it is as well, whether it be a person or an idea or a loss of something. I feel like there's literally loss of something. You're having a hard time letting it go too. And it's, you're having also, like, part of your challenge is to look at the situation like it's it's just ruined and there's nothing to do at this point. Granted, whatever's gone is gone, but it's kind of like having the ability to pick yourself up from it. That's where we need to go next. So you're kind of going through this thing. It seems like your partner needs to pick themselves up first. I do see some stability with them. Seems like they're taking up the gauntlet. They have... The, the Justice card pulling them up, and they also have the King of Pentacles. This energy, like, don't get caught up in the gender, but they have to, like, really, like, just get a hold of themselves and say, all right, this is what happened. For example, if a tornado took out the house, it's gone. If we had loss of lives because of it, it happened. It's hard, but it's time to, like, now we need to find a new place to live. Now we need to find a safer place to live. We need to congeal who was left and, you know, strengthen our bond with who's left. And I feel like it's them saying, all right, life dealt us a hard one, but let's let's just grab a hold of it and do what we got to do. So I see them coming forward and saying, all right, it's time to deal with it. It's time to make something happen here. I see your energy matching this with the hierophant saying, yeah, all right, true, <laughs> The house is wiped out. Unfortunately, we lost some people, some loved ones with it. You're right. But first of all, we can't just build a house out of nothing. We're going to have to get the money. So it's, I feel like it's almost like you're saying, all right, do we have insurance? Or what do we have to do to find a way to get another place to live? What do we need to do? You're, it's like you're kind of like, all right, my turn to grab a hold of this ball. All right, this is what we need to do to make this happen. And you're going back and forth a little bit. I actually see you like, they're coming forth with the justice like, this is what happened, we gotta deal with it. And you're like, that's true. Here's what we have to, you're hand, they're handing it to you saying, this is what we gotta, we gotta deal with it. There's, you're, you're grabbing it and saying, all right, and here's what we have to do. Here's what we have to actually handle it with. Here's the resources we can handle it with. I'm noticing they're then having the tower moment. It's kind of like the second death in a way. It already got wiped out. We lost some people. I'm feeling that weird feeling there, whatever it was. All right, now that this has happened and you're telling me the reality of what we have left to build with, 
they're shocked. They're kind of like, I feel like this is a hard moment because it's kind of like, all right, well, we still have to move forward. It's just not nearly what I was hoping we'd have to move forward with. This all seems to be happening very fast to me because you're handing them back like what's there. You're showing them what's there. They're thinking it through and they're devising the plan and they're like, we just got to keep going. We got to keep moving. So here's what we have. Thank you for showing me that. All right, here's, the, here's our next move. This is their, their turn on the turn in the lead here and they're like all right here's our next move and they're they're gonna have to go forward and kind of like make it up as they go i'm getting that with the creativity they're gonna have to make it up as they go i'm seeing you work with them on this with the queen of pentacles and the um the six of cups the six of cups is telling me there's a lot of history with you and this person and you know what to expect now i know they have the king of pentacles and you have the queen of pentacles when I read cards, though, I don't see one outranking the other. For success to happen, they take turns taking the lead. It's just whoever needs to take the lead at the moment does so, but they're on the same page. When they're in the same suit, they're on the same page. They have the same goals. No one's really making decisions for the other. What's happening is each one of them is taking, taking the appropriate lead at the appropriate time. They're working together. This is very equal. When it's in the same suit, especially, it's very equal. Not that one suit outranks another, but you know what I mean. So I'm seeing you help this move forward. You, you're, I do feel like you're co-creating, but your partner does seem to have to go by the seat of their pants. And like as things fall in their lap, they just kind of have to deal with them as it happens. Now, as you keep going, I feel like you, you, you are going to see a better, brighter future coming forward before your partner does. Because I see the Ace of Cups with you and I see the pleasure. This is in how you're connecting with your partner. The pleasure is from the connection you have with your partner. And it's up to you to share that and remind them. Like you have each other. You're building this together. You're correcting this together. You can rely on each other. Because you're feeling the love. You're, that's the pleasure for this. The fact that you have your partner and you have them to rely on. And you're going to have to promote that between the two of you. And like... You're just going to have to highlight it for them every now and then because they feel like it, this might weigh them down more than you at times because they may forget about that connection. But when you remind them and highlight this, like we have each other, we're both strong, we're going to make this, we're, we're, we're going to trade this off. I'll handle it from here, then I'll handle it back to you, hand it back to you, and sometimes we'll handle it together. But, you know, we'll, we'll keep passing it back and forth and we'll have equality here. This is why it won't be that bad for either of, either of us because we're going to share it. We're going to go back and forth and back and forth. And we are, we are going to succeed. And I feel you very strongly saying we will succeed because I'm not going to allow it to not succeed. succeed. Um, you have me here as your asset that we will make it. And we're just going to pass it back and forth and we're going to get this done. We are going to make it out of this. That's what's going to pull you out of this. You're pulling in the pleasure. You're pulling in some joy with just like reminding your partner you're there for each other. And every now and then you're just going to have to step away and breathe and you're going to be there for each other. Either one of you is going to take on the brunt of it so the other can step away temporarily or maybe once in a great while, hopefully, you can step away together and it'll be okay while you do. These are very heavy readings lately, I'm noticing. But this is Aries, right? All right, so Aries, you're going to make it. I understand that. Whew. There's been a few heavy readings in this section I've noticed. So I'm like, what is happening? All right, so I think we're good. All right, I'm going to let that be. I'm just making sure nothing else is going to toddle forward, so there you go. All right, so that's good. That's what we have for Aries and relationships. Of course, if you'd like a direct reading for me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Information is down below, too. Now, what do we have for single Aries? Okay, so I'm getting the word calm already. Do, are you in calm waters or are they suggest that you go to calm waters? I'm getting the word calm. Let's see where this goes. Single areas. Ooh, got a lot of earth right off the bat. Um, more earth coming out too. So when I'm getting calm, you've got a lot of earth coming in, which makes me feel like, you know, keep this at a predictable pace like if you think of a metronome where you know the, 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 the it goes at a predictable pace it stays at the same pace 
you want to try to do your best to keep it at the same pace. I definitely feel like there's an upswing, because you've got some good cards here, an upswing happening here, but they're like, return to the, the predictable pace. You're going to want to jump forward. I, I already feel that. One there. Really just one card again. All right, all right, that's fine. I'm okay with it. I'm all right with it. All right, so going into this, uh, I'm gonna highlight, this isn't the environment. This is the Nine of Wands. Whoever you're dealing with, I'm already getting like, things can only go so fast. They can only go so fast. If you're aware of this and you see it, it'll be easier for you. Yeah, you're gonna try to jump ahead at some point. It's your natural energy just to get, to get excited and be like, let's go, let's do it. But when when they pull you back to the the same speed as it was, when they kind of like, you're going, at, you're going at 30 miles an hour and you're like, let's go 60. And they're like, no, back to 30. Just to not get upset with that because this is their speed. They... It, to them, it's just like, no, we have to stay at 30. We're, there's no speeding. not getting any speeding tickets here. No. And you're like, but look, the, the speed, the, we can go 60. Look, the, this road is a 60 mile an hour road. 30. I'm, I go 30. Just realize that this is not against you that they want to go 30. This is comfortable for them. This is reliable for them. There's a lot of earth here. So don't take it offensively when they pull you back and they're like, I'm not going to 60. I will not go 60. It's not that they won't go 60 with you. It's that they don't do that. They're just like, I'm not going 60. I'm not going to go 60 miles an hour just like that. I'm not going to do it. It's not you. It's just how they live life. It's very important to know that. Because when this person comes in, like, I feel like you got the Seven of Cups and you got the King of Wands. Ooh, you like this one. You're like, you're seeing all the possibilities. And you got the King of Wands here. You're like, I'm all about it. I see all these possibilities. This can be a great thing. When this person comes into your life, you got the death card. Like, Your life is changing from this moment. As soon as they show up, immediately you feel different. You feel like there's a hope in the world. <laughs> You're like, I know where I want to go. There are a lot of possibilities. You're feeling that magnetism. You're like, I like this one. I want this one permanently. I want this one. Now, to be fair, just so I don't negate this card out completely, in your past, you've had the Four of Cups. You found other matches in the past where like, it was good, but not everything was good. There's been near hits. I don't know. You've had other people in the past come around where it seemed really good, but it just wasn't quite there. Let's just do that. But this one, you're like, this one checks all my boxes. Whatever all your boxes are, your most important boxes, they're all checked. Maybe attraction, finances, good person, whatever you got in there that's most important to you. Boom, boom, boom. It's hitting all the boxes. And you're loving it. You're like, usually it's like, they're a good person, but maybe their finances aren't the best. Maybe I'm getting attracted to some, somebody and everything's good, except maybe they're still attached to somebody else. Maybe I like somebody and everything's good, except for maybe they make less than the best decisions and I'm, I question their morality. There's always something. But in this one, they're like, they check all the boxes. Now, again, we're describing this person again. Knight of Pentacles. They move forward slowly, but dependably. They're going to hold to that. They are going to hold to that. And we're going, I know we're flopping back and forth here, but you got the sun card in your thoughts. Like you, this is no, if this reading is hitting with you, you are just knocked out on this one. You're just like, this is exactly what I want. Exactly what I've been looking for. Checks all the boxes, all the important boxes. So for, you know, good person, family oriented, maybe. Their, their financial resources do not hinder you in any way. What else, whatever else is really... Things like that are what's, what you're doing, what you're seeing, what you're liking. You like this person. You feel very good about them. The attraction is there. Okay. So... And this is also very interesting, too, because you got the Six of Pentacles coming in with the Nine of Pentacles. This person does share your sentiment. And they are a little bit swept up to begin with. So it might take a quick start. It might be. A, it could be a quick start, just to be fair. But to them, that's okay. A quick start, a quick attraction is okay. But where it goes from there is going to be a slow build. Because when you go forward next, I feel like it's a quick start, and you, the, the situation is off and running. And they do seem to follow along with you at first. 
and they're they're caught right up in the moment. They're caught right up too. They they do have these feelings for you. They do see the same positive qualities. They like what they're seeing in you. The speed becomes a problem though. They may go along with this for a short period, but they're gonna they're gonna put on the brakes really hard and really fast. It's kind of like you're going along at 60 and they're like so they slam on those brakes. They're like no 30 can't do this too much, and they they might be a little upset about it. And they might be a little bit hard to deal with for a short moment, kind of like, no, this is going too fast, I can't do this, this is freaking me out. Kind of reminds me of a friend of mine. Years ago, they're, they're a speed demon, and I say this because they were going on a country road, they hit 100 miles an hour, and I thought my heart was going to pop out my chest because I was so freaked out. That's just me. Um, <laughs> but that's kind of how it is, kind of like, no, I can't go this fast. I see my life flashing before my eyes, like, no. <laughs> Look, it's that type of feel. Um... They are going to slow you down. Remember, though, it's very. If this reading is coming to you, I feel like the whole point is it's not negative against you. It's just too fast for the way they live life. It's how they live. This is a great moment because you're getting to know them and how they go through life. This is setting the pace for the relationship. The sooner you get used to how they go through life, the easier this will be. They're a slow build, they're a dependable build. It's a good thing. It's just realizing it right in the beginning and being okay with it and realizing it's nothing against you. It's just how they live life. You got the Seven of Pentacles with the Justice. And you also have this card. This is a very curious card to me. It's called Purity. And I feel like what they're saying, with everything good, there's a little bad. I know it says Purity, but you notice there's a lot of dark colors like at the bottom and there's those trees. And there's that leaf on her face, or on that little thing over her face. You'll also notice you can't see where she's going because her eyes are covered. So I feel like what they're saying is purity is kind of unrealistic. You're not always going to get along. You're not always going to see eye to eye. But you can be honest with where you each stand. The fact that you like to go faster is not bad in communicating, but you know, weaving this in between the two of you, what's allowed to go fast and what's not, what are they comfortable with and what are you comfortable with, what are they not comfortable with, what are you not comfortable with. Purity is saying here, divulging your emotions and how you feel about each other and how you like to move and how you live life, how you each honestly live life, that's purity for you. That's saying seven of pentacles with the justice, like when this setback happens and them explaining to you that's how they live life and you realizing that is how they live life. But then you explaining to them how you live life and how this comes together. That's purity. You will get out of this what you put in. This can be a great relationship. But it's just saying, don't let things don't let things fester. Like if you're upset or you feel offended because they're slowing down as if you think maybe they're not as into you as you originally thought, talking that out with them and finding out where they really stand, that's your purity. That's saying you're going to get out of this what you put in. If you say, hey, you know, is it because you're not really into me? Is that why you want to slow down? Am I more into you than you are to me? And then saying, no, that's not at all it. The reason is I'm not comfortable flying down the road at 100 miles an hour. I can't do that. I'm a 30 mile an hour person. I go slowly. I go safely. I know what I'm doing. And I build things to last. And I actually want to slow down because I don't want this to crash and burn. I want this to be with you and I want to stay with you for the rest of my life. And to me, that's how I build a stable future. Every step is meticulously put where it is so it stands, withstands the test of time. That's your priority. Talking it out. If your feelings are hurt, that's not bad. What's bad is having your feelings hurt and not explaining that and not talking it out and not finding out the real reason things are changing or things are going a little differently. And it's not only putting it out there how you feel, but them also getting them to reciprocate that. That's what you need. And this can be very, very successful. And we're good. I actually like that card. At first I was like, purity, mm. especially because of the, the blonde-haired white lady. I was just kind of like, ooh, that seems a little rough. I don't know if I like that. But... I understand what they're saying with the card. They're just kind of like saying, looking beyond what your version of purity is and getting a little deeper into it. But anyway, I think we're done for this one. And if you want a reading from me, go ahead and shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com, and I'll send you my pricing list. Uh, you can also get that below, james4astral at gmail.com. Thank you for watching.